Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to Blender Chef again. Um, we are supposed to get into a deep dive of learning Blender. And, you know, uh, things come up <laughs> that I want to straighten out because I, you know, this has got to be for serious people. Now, this is mainly, mainly, mainly pertaining to the YouTube people that are stumbling onto this channel um, because. You know, like I said, there's a small group of uh, friends and, and social media people that are that actually got all, you know the, uh, my 12 channels going because for learning to make money online, and the ones that are in Blender and stuff, and you know want to learn to sell models and do art and uh, do porn online to make money, not for fun. Need to really stress that, not for fun. They're getting a little more serious, you know, because. You know, they're spending time in Blender and Daz for those that are doing the porn and uh, other stuff. This is what I need to get it straight. Now, I wasn't going to bring, said I wasn't going to bring this up uh, no more because it's going to be on Patreon only. But before you sign up for the Patreon, if you're interested in learning the porn, this is not going to be easy. Porn, as you know it, um, is no longer the same. Uh, yeah, you should. You don't have to. But, you know, your work will show it. You should watch porn, but not for the entertainment. You, you need to watch porn from a work-related perspective because you're, you're there to get ideas, storylines. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, there's not a lot of story in real porn, but, but when you're watching it, you can come up with ideas for stories on your own. If, you're, if you watch it and pay attention and, you know, things you know, just pop into your head, you know, oh, you know what? It'd be cool if this happened or that, you know, like that. Well, you could make it happen in your novel and in your in your game, you know, whichever path you're, you're choosing. Here is the issue, and I'm going to go over it now. And like I said, this, main, this is why I got to mention it again, because I don't want anyone purchasing, you know, a, a Patreon level. If you are not expecting this and know this going in and are not serious about it, because this is not going to be easy. Um, I'm going to teach you everything about the add-ons and the softwares, but it happens to me. It happens to every artist. It happens to everybody. Every every project that you undertake is not going to go perfect. You're going to make models. You're and Daz, you know, because it's a great. I, now I've tried all the other, you know, Make Human and MB Lab and. I've tried all of the other character softwares and add-ons there is out there. And in my opinion, Dash 3D is the best for characters. Just creating characters. That's pretty much all I use it for. I play I dabble over and play around in it, you know, here and there. But my main workflow is just to create a character and then it gets exported into Blender. Everything finishes and everything from there. But, as you can see right here, here's the, here's the issue that gets complicated. Now, this is the regular Genesis 8 character. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, use the stock Genesis 8. You know, I prefer to create my own characters. Or maybe you're watching a porn movie and you see, you know, a really good looking girl in a porn and everything. That's unique, you know, a different look. And you want to create that. This is where, you know, knowledge comes in and your anatomy and, you know, all that stuff. Knowing, you know, your lower, your pelvis, your lower abdomen, upper abdomen, lower chest, upper chest, you know, all that stuff. All the different parts of the head, the cheek, the dimple, and everything. Because over, over here in the right, you can see as I'm scrolling, all these morphs or sliders you know, is how you're going to customize your character and create your own unique person. Then, you know, then we got to get into clothes and hair, you know, and their own look. You know, this is the issue. Daz is doing all this fancy stuff, making these morphs, which in Blender will turn into shape keys. And the rigging and, you know, all that stuff, all this stuff has to come over into Blender. And for those of anybody that has tried to export and import into any other program, 3D 
Max, whatever, Maya, you know, it don't matter. Even uh, substance painter, you know, uh, Z, Z brush, you know, any of them. Sometimes it works, you know, very rarely, but most of the time, something's going to screw up. And you're going to have to figure, you're going to have to troubleshoot. You're going to have to, and this is the life of a 3D artist, modeler, whatever you want to call yourself, architect. This is the life that, we, you know, we lead, a game designer. Uh, we're going to be presented with problems. That's why a lot of people quit. Um, and, and that's even in graphic. You know, have a graphic designer in Photoshop. You know, even things go wrong and things don't come. You can't draw what you want. Or, you know, things happen. You know, no matter what you take up, there's going to be problems happen. And if you're not, you know, that type of person, you know, that's driven and motivated and stuff, the, minute, the first minute that things get tough, your brain just goes on lockdown and you're like, fuck it. This is, I can't do this. I'm out of here. That's what I want to get across today. And this is why, I mean, yes, there's going to be, you know, after this, you know, we're going to get into learning all you know, the basics of Blender, learning Blender and go from there. We're going to get into the shading and texturing and uh, constraints, the drivers, you know, and all that stuff. That's because you're going to need to know this stuff when you get into this Daz and Blender importing and exporting because blender if we go over here to blender you know we got an add-on over here that we're going to use uh oh and by the way i got screencasts going for all my blender tutorials now for all the you've been hollering you know let me, what are you what are you touching and everything so now we we got screencasts for all the videos right here we have a dash importer which is diffomorphic diffomorphic um, and this is gets into, you know, look at it, you know, we got corrections, materials, morphs, finishing, rigging, advanced settings, which is the low poly MD mesh. We got HD meshes too, materials, simulations, rigging and morphing and uh, utilities, positioning, posing. I mean, every single thing is in here. Then we go into global settings. And you got a whole setting, well, you know, you got to, you got to, List your cloud directory for DAS, your MDL uh, materials directory, your con all your content directories, and then all of this stuff over here, debugging, you know, Z up, you know, the different programs like 3D Max and Maya, and you know, different programs have a different, you know, uh, up axis. Some have Z, some have Y, but you know, to take that, then you got unflipped bones, you know. And there's section, this is the debugging, then here's all the mesh section, then rigging section, morphs, materials, you know, all over here, random walking, you know, this is what we got to get, you guys got to get into, the viewport, you know, guess, random, what's the difference to that, world, you know, never dome and always, you know, EV, you know, always or needed, I mean, we all kinds of stuff here. Um, we got render settings, you know, to ignore, warn, or update, and displacements. I mean, you know, a whole bunch of settings in here that you that we got to go over, and you guys got to learn and get used to. And we're not even getting into the shape keys. All these morphs and everything are going to come in, come in through shape keys. And let me just put a cube in here. I always hate when I do that, but let me put a cube in here so I can get down into. Over here, shape keys, which is a add on you got to get, and you know, I'll have a link to it when we get to this part. But all of the more, I mean, this right here is going to get huge. This is going to get very, very long because every morph, every custom morph, and everything is going to go into these shape keys right here. And that's where we get our sliders. These sliders, all these sliders over here that we get. That we can just move these sliders and adjust our character. All of these are going to end up being shape keys in here. And if you got a custom character, or if you're creating custom morphs, like I do, um, see if we go down here, you see these icons here, these fancy icons. This is a custom add-on that I've got, and I have this for the female. Uh, I've got the glutes add-on. You know, which is for shaping and sculpting her butt. Um, 
a breast add-on, which is for doing anything and everything that you want to the breast. I mean, you can make them in anything, look any way you want, literally. And, uh, you know, we got everything else here, you know, the face, cheek, nose, dimples, um, and uh, you know, all of this stuff. Uh, these things right here will be custom, these paid add-ons. Those will be custom uh, morphs that you that you bring in, which will be a, uh, a separate button up here that says custom. This, I mean, this is all the stuff you got to look look up. And materials, yes, that's a whole other subject. Um, let me show you real quick right here. When you when you import into Blender, this is what you're going to get. Um, a whole you know shading bundle. You can see it's a mess right there, and you know that's because we're back here in Daz. That's because you know Daz's way Daz's materials is different than the way Blender. You know it's the same with rigging and everything else. You know you can't you can't change your mesh. You know this mesh is going to export out with twelve thousand five hundred ninety nine vertices, and you cannot change it in Blender. It will have to stay at 12,599 vertices. Uh, everything else, like you saw with the video that I just did with the horns or wings or uh, genitalia, if you put genitalia, now I got custom genitalia for the female and male for, for my uh, novels and stuff. All of those are graphs that people have made. They're not part of the rig. They're gonna be put, they've been made as a graph so they don't add to the geometry of the of the character, and that's why you can export or in, import back into Daz and everything, because you don't mess up the geometry. Now you can sculpt, you know, you can put muscles on something and pull things out and everything. You just cannot add vertices or faces or anything. You have to work with what the mesh gives you, and that's it, because. The minute you change something or add even one vertice, the model's ruined. You won't be able to bring it back into Daz. And uh, you know, again, th this is where your creativity comes in. You know, you got to figure out how to work with what you have to get the result you want. And this is why I got paid add-ons over here for Daz to allow me to go deeper into my creating. My, I mean, I can go with as far, you know, even the years. I got a whole bunch of uh, uh, sliders and stuff to customize in my ears any way I want, and my nose any way I want, and lips, dimples, everything. And you end up creating a, and, and you can sell this. After you're done creating your custom character, you could put this on Daz 3D uh, Marketplace and sell it. Just like, you know, Victoria and all the other models that are, that are made out there and put up for sale. Like I said, it comes at a price when you got to bring this back into da into a blender. You need to uh, understand what all of this stuff is right here. Now, there's an easy import right here. There's two options. There's import DAS, which you, you, need, you will start out with beginning. Then there's the easy import. Now, the reason you're going to start out with the import is because before you do the easy import, all of this stuff over here, in the sidebar that you'll have to check and uncheck you will need to know what all of this stuff is and what it does because if you don't again it will mess your model up you know it's an easy import like I said if you understand blender and Daz and what Daz is doing and Daz's units you know face units you got facts here JCMs um, these are joint controls. JCMs are joint controls, and uh, you got you also got other stuff. You know, other abbreviations that you'll have to learn that are uh, tied to these. You know, like the merged geographs. The geograph is what I was telling you about graphs, like the horns and stuff like that. That people make extra body parts, you know, for the characters for, but they can't attach them to the mesh itself, so they just graph it. Um, so Blender will will have to treat that a special way, or, or different. The add-on will different more will have to, and you'll have to know how to handle that and fix that in your materials, and in your shape keys and all that stuff. That's all this video is for for this week, is to warn 
anybody before they get into the Patreon that are interested in the porn. Don't do it if you're not uh, prepared to work and study and learn. And watch the video series that's coming up starting next week because you will need to know all about your shape, your materials, your shading, your texturing. You'll need to know all about shape keys, you know, because like I said, this add-on, you know, this is an add-on. This is not Blender's normal shape keys, but this is like extending them. And we'll be using some special features that that add-on has specifically for dads. And uh, the importing of the shape keys and morphs and stuff that Daz is doing and the joint controls. With that, I think I've covered everything. This video should be a fair warning, you know, for, for those that, you know, are thinking about getting into this. Hopefully, we'll see you in the, uh, in the, in the Patreon. Um, probably not in the members' uh, uh, website because, like I said, that's where the uh, my special group is. Um, but... They're, that, they're, they're my measuring stick on, you know, what to do with the Patreon over here and on my YouTube channel here. This is how I know when things are getting tough, you know, and hard to understand uh, that I make a plan, that I make a panel, uh, that I make a uh, <laughs> panel. I'm sorry, my, I just got a message in uh, my Discord and it's about a clean panels, which is the add-on that I use. But <laughs> anyway. As I said, panel. You know, I could edit that out in editing, but no, I'll keep it. I guess we're done here, and uh, you guys can uh, get ready to get going in the boring stuff. You know, the boring default blender. Uh, no add-ons or anything. Um, you know, it's going to take me back, you know, to when I was first getting started and had to go through everything before I got into the fun part. I know the add-ons and, you know, all the cool stuff is the best part, but, you know, you got to learn the basics before you can, you know, understand those. Um, you know, you can get into them without learning the basics, but it's just going to take you longer, you know, to learn them because you're going to have to hit the YouTube videos and, you know, you're, you're not going to find the exact videos what you're looking for. So you're going to have to watch five or ten videos before you get understand one thing. And, um, yeah, it's just a rabbit hole. That's why we call them rabbit. YouTube is a rabbit hole. We'll see you guys uh, next Wednesday. Be safe. And enjoy the rest of the summer. And have fun blendering.